think is over. Wow. What's up? <laughs> What's uh, Devontae's status? Uh, I know uh, he came out and did a little bit today with Coach Fitzgerald. Hope uh, optimistic that he'll practice tomorrow. Uh, he did some running today and some lifting in that practice, but uh, we're optimistic that we'll get him back out tomorrow. Shaq, he didn't do anything. Uh, you know, uh, is there any update in terms of nah, what he's going to do this week? Or? You know, I'll uh, probably let Coach Spurrier comment on on him. I don't coach him directly, but he didn't do anything today. You're expecting. Holloman to be able to play this week. I mean, you're at your yes, unless something did not go well during practice. But from what he told me, and from what we discussed in our staff meeting this morning, that we're we're hopeful that he'll practice tomorrow and, and be okay for for Saturday. How the dynamics of the, of the strong safety free safety position going right now? I know Coach Ward mentioned last week they thought that maybe uh, DJ may start at the free safety. Yeah, you know, uh, right now we're going along with the premise that Devonte is is going to play. So if that's the case, you know, DJ and Akeem will work as the free safety and. And Devontae and Corey Addison are working at the boundary safety. Uh, right now, with Devontae not practicing, yeah. uh, Corey Addison and has actually been taking all the reps at boundary safety. Him and Dion on the corn. Uh, you know, so if, if Devontae wasn't going to go, we wanted to get Corey as many, all the reps, basically, and that's what we've done. Uh, so, you know, he's a Corey's smart guy. He knows what to do. He's, he's, uh, and played as much as we would have liked, but he's, uh, he, he, he's a tough kid and, no, and is, he's a smart kid. You know, so if we had to go with him, we, we, we feel okay about that. But, again, we're, we're basing all our, you know, decisions right now with thinking that Devontae will play. Your impressions of Alabama? Uh, impressive. Yeah, impressive. You know, they uh, they uh, they did a heck of a job against Florida. You know, they're well coached. They're sound. They're tough. They're physical. Uh, got a lot of really good players. You know, they're, they're deep. They got depth everywhere. I mean, you know, you look at them offensively, defensively. You know, special teams. They got they got good players everywhere. You know, I mean, they. Uh, you know, coaching defense. I see enough of, of Julio Jones and, and Trent Richardson on offense, and then I go over there and I turn on the the kicking tape, and there they are returning kicks and they're covering kicks. You know, Trent Richardson is probably the best guy they got on kickoff coverage. Julio Jones is covering punts and going down there and making tackles. So I mean, they're just uh, very sound, very sound. Like they, you know, they were the national champion champion last year for a reason. I was going to ask about Rich. I think Rich is number two in the SEC right now in the kickoff returns. Yeah. Well, what makes him such a good he's kicker? he's uh he's hard to bring down. You know, all those guys they break tackles, yeah. they they yeah. make people miss. You know, they're uh, they're an impressive bunch. You know, they run hard, they run physical, and, and then from in the from the return standpoint, I mean, they got good guys out there blocking for them. I mean, there's two starting tight ends are on the kickoff return team. They do a great job blocking. They're you know they're well coached. And yeah. It'll be a challenge for us. Hopefully we'll you know hopefully. We'll We'll, we'll be able to kick off to him a lot. Is, Brett, is Chris Melly's brother still playing for Alabama? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's involved in their special teams. He's on their punt team and on their kickoff return team and on their punt return, so he's playing about everything. Any changes at, the, at Spur with that? Antonio no. and Demario Jeffrey pretty much just with playing time like mm-hmm. it was last game? Mm-hmm. Let me ask a little about, about recruiting. you got college game day here. you got CBS. Is this sort of the equivalent of all the planets aligning yeah. in line for, 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 for a recruiting guy like yourself? I don't know what else you could ask for other than yeah. a victory. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? When you talk about yeah. college game day being here, packed house, yeah. number one team in the country, uh, CBS national game, yeah. I mean, it don't get any better. You know I mean? That's all you could ask for. Uh, so, you know, from that standpoint, it'll be a great environment. It'll be a great atmosphere. It'll be something that the recruits will enjoy. And, and you know, but at the same time, from a recruiting standpoint, yeah, it's great. But the best best thing we can do is go out and, and play well. And uh, us playing well against the number one team in the country in front of in front of that environment, you know, is the best thing that can happen for us. Between the unofficial and official visitors, how many how many players are you expecting to prospect oh, expecting to show up here? Well, it's been a busy day with unofficial yeah. guys wanting to come in, you know, uh, uh, I'd like to think they were there. All these calls that we got today about kids coming in were, were guys that wanted to come to see us. But unfortunately, you only hear from some of these guys uh, when the big team, the, the big time teams, roll into town. But uh, we've had a bunch of guys, uh, a bunch of big, good players. I don't know what the official number will be on unofficial visits and unofficial wise. We got five scheduled to, to be in Saturday. Is that a little bit of a distraction to have all these players come in? You're trying to play the number one team in the country. And have all these unofficial visits. You got you got to try to accommodate. I mean, I'll, yeah, you know I'll, we did. How busy is your Saturday morning? Well, we did it last year. We had yeah. um, the weekend we played Florida. We had four guys here, and yeah. three of them went somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Two of them are playing at Alabama right now. One's playing at Clemson, so that didn't go too well uh, last year. But but uh, hopefully we've learned things we didn't do well that weekend. Um, 
uh, we'll do better this year. But, you know, it, it's not a distraction. Robbie Lyles does a great job handling the official visits and getting the schedule straight and, and handling a lot of that yeah. stuff, you know, from his standpoint. And, and we as coaches, you know, can focus on the game and, and, and spend time with those recruits. And then with the game time being the way it is, we'll be able to spend some time with them afterwards and on Sunday as well. So it's not a distraction, you know. I mean, obviously it's not, it's not as low-key as an official visit weekend in January. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it's not our first time we've had official visits during the season. Playing number one, is there motivational use in that for you guys? I mean, do, you, do, do, your, guys, do your players respond to that? Do yeah, you? I think I'd be lying if, you know, I said they didn't. You know, uh, this is what you come – you know, and playing the SEC for us, so which you come and play at this level of college football for us to, you know, to play against the best. And, uh, you know, these guys are the reigning national champions. They're number one in the country right now. And, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity for our guys. They're, they're excited, you know, about the, about the challenge. And, you know, we got to go play well. But, you know, more than anything, it's about us. You know, we've got to, we've got to, we can't worry so much about Alabama. We've got to prepare ourselves the right way and, and have a good week of practice and focus on what we're doing. And, and you know, the, the winning and the losing will take care of itself. But, but uh, from that standpoint, preparation-wise, sure.